Okay, guys, just playing around here with some masking tape. I don't know if you can see the line. And the line back here. Okay, that would make the car cow forward red. The edge of this fender would be red. Okay, the roof all the way to the end of this line, which would end here, or if you want to jockey the line forward and do it to here, have a little more blue up there, would all be white, and then the ass of the car would be blue. Uh, these stripes are parallel to each other, you can see the marks, then everything noted. Now bear in mind I did it alone, so the lines could be a little ziggly, it doesn't matter. Um, this is basically the way they did it on Wally Boots. Uh, gremlin there and when Wally Booth switched over to the original Hornet um, which we'll call it hatchback okay except the difference is, is this white on the top and I don't think the red goes around the ass so uh, you do it this way this line never does make it to the bottom which isn't a problem it just makes it a little tricky at the mask if you want to keep the lines parallel um, from a visual from a side you are going to have white hitting red, but you are going to have a corner of red on the door, which isn't a big deal. Um, puts a pretty wide white section in the car. I think you can get away with masking it like this because it is actually very similar to the shape of a gremlin back then. They just lengthened it in so many words. Even though it isn't, it is. Um, so, like I said, I just laid the door on there. There's two bolts on there loose and it's clicked once with the striker just to play around and if you left it just like this and come right to the point of the door which I didn't know because I used this as a reference point from there to the rocker because I was able to use this point from here to the rocker I have nothing else there past that so a little interesting I'm gonna leave this on here for junior and then I'm sure I'll be peeling this gacky tape off so the only thing I'm not sure of is how the back would be like this um, that would have to be determined. I might move the white stripe forward so when it comes up I have blue in the back. I gotta see how they wrap it over. I always had a problem with an angled stripe coming over and then going over. It, I just never seemed to get the angle right. I gotta look into that. Um, that way, that, for that reason, it might be simpler to just move it back here and bring it right across this. But it would be nicer to have the whole hatch blue. If you know what I mean. Paint the whole hatch blue. Uh, maybe do the jams blue. Probably definitely do the jams blue because you really see deep in this jam even when I raise this up. Um, these jams and everything here would stay white. And then the question would be what would the engine component be? Back in the day the cars were white. These were white cars and this was painted over it. And they left the jams and they left the uh, engine component white. So you can still see the white under the car so that's why you know what the white coat is because the car started out as white um, and then there was the variations that you bought in the early 70s of like the Trans Am Javelin and stuff like that that have more metallic colors and a little bit different but um, I think something like this but the key is you got to get these lines parallel and you are coming down on a compound so it could easily go askew if that's the correct word I'm sure it is but to me this line has to be below that lip I am not going across and then across and across and across because going across this 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 and this and this it will come out in a different spot so it has to be from here back okay and I would say the angle from here has to match the angle in the front which I have to refine I think a little bit there also um, I still think it comes and then dips just a hair right off the corner of the tape but that was like a quickie I'm doing it myself and I didn't have the door to go up against what was floating here either so but something to think about uh, that would make three painting days on this but it would, in, a, in reality it would probably you know, make my life easier um, probably do uh, all the white first and then the colors on top so like I said to Junior, you could do the white in a single stage and then you blow the red on the front, clear it in, blow the red on the back and clear it in and the whole car will be cleared 
except the white will be a uh, base coat uh, white will be single stage with clear over it so it probably makes life the easiest and I think I can handle doing this in the garage with that guys I got 20 seconds left on this uh, tape here I'm gonna leave this like this let Junior look at it I have a feeling he's gonna like it and if he doesn't we got size 14s that'll be tickling his butt so with that guys I'm taking a little break Happy New Year again.